Well, we all know these insulators, the glass disc ones, or strain insulators. If you put in long strings, or depending upon the voltage. Uh, I found a broken one in the bin, and uh, we're gonna do an analysis on it. So, yeah, they look awesome, but I'm just curious how the steel caps actually join. So, we're going over here now, and we have a look. I got a broken device here. And I'll see if I can get this glass out of here. There's the glass between the outer cap and the inner uh, stud or bolt, whatever you want to call it. So I want to squash it in the vise or something, get the glass out and see how it looks. Okay, well a pair of these are must because um, you don't know, you're dealing with compressing glass and other things, so you don't know what's going to happen. So glass may uh, shed it, shear away or so, so I'll see if we can crunch this. It may not be able to do that, but we'll see what happens. Shit, that's pretty tight. Okay, I've uh, put the camera on my drill press. I'm just trying it a different way. Got some ant pie in here, and here the glass is coming out. And we'll see how this thing comes apart. Get the glass falling out. I'm just curious how this thing is fitted together. It's coming apart slowly. Cement and other stuff comes out of it. So. Turning doesn't come apart yet. I'm going to stop the camera here for a second. Okay, I'll get the hammer and give it a few extra steps. This is turning, it doesn't come apart. Look inside. There's glass here and there's some other stuff around it as well, so not too sure. Things are pretty tough. Okay, that took a mammoth effort, 10 minutes later more or less, hammering. And I finally at the stage I can take it apart. Now that's dead. Now this is uh, yeah glass, high compressed glass, and there's, there's some grey type compound in there as well. I just clean it up a little bit better. I got there in the end, so uh, yeah, that's high tensile glass, and this is the stud which sits in there. Um, somehow it had a little bit of a yeah, very thin layer of some compound rubbery type material. Take two. So this device is, uh, you got here the glass, which is probably high tensile glass, into the steel cap and here we got the insert. This is the steel piece which goes in the other side. It got a bit of a dimple at the end, or an expansion, like almost like a dynabolt, dynabolt type arrangement here. So, and around this dynabolt part there's a bit of a rubber compound, very thin layer, which obviously allows for uh, expansion of the steel during warm temperatures. So, there's an allowance made for that so the glass wouldn't crack if it was like hard casted uh, glass into steel on both sides, you know? So, yeah, quite interesting. It is actually an extremely strong connection. I was surprised uh, how much effort it took to take it apart. So. You can imagine these insulators are capable of uh, carrying massive amount of loads and strain. They, yeah, they exceeded my expectations anyway. So yeah, that's this one for now. Um, I'm going to put this video up, so hopefully it's, some people can have a look at it. And uh, yeah, that was uh, Rodalco 2007. Thanks for watching.